Today we are exploring this incredible time capsule house. I can't believe this house is actually abandoned. Look at all of these coins. Wow, this is absolutely incredible. Look at all of the laundry still hanging up. I can't believe the decay in this house. I've just found their safe. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm on my own to explore this incredible house. As you can see, it's completely taken over by Ivy. I think this is going to be a really good one. Let's go check it out and see what we can find. Okay guys, we are now inside this house. You can see the amount of mail which has been left on the floor. It just goes to show how long this place has been empty for. Look at this, the cupboard in there. I can't actually open the door because it's swollen up, but it's still got coats hanging up on the inside. Now we've got some serious decay in this place. See the wallpaper's coming off the wall here. But if we walk into this room here, which I think is the utility room, just look at this. The wallpaper's coming off the walls. The ceiling is coming down. In fact, that looks like it's ready to come down any second. Look at this, we've still got washing, drying on the areas. This is unbelievable. Just look at the amount of stuff that's been left here. Look at the old Singer sewing machines up there. My goodness me, this is incredible. This really is incredible. Wow, it's so overgrown outside. Absolutely just taken over. And look at this, I think this is the kitchen. Oh my God. The entire ceiling has completely fallen down and it has wrecked everything in here. It's such a shame a beautiful house like this can fall into a state of disrepair. I've got absolutely no idea how long this has been left for, but I can tell you it's been quite a while. Oh, look at that. We've still got food in the free. Oh, okay. I'm going to be really quick here to see if we can get a date. Oh, O2. <laughs> Oh, I need to catch a breath. <laughs> it's disgusting. Oh, God. What have we got in here? Is this a larder? That's a small utility room with a washing machine. Look at that. We've still got washing in the washing machine. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. Oh, my God. Well, the power supply has been turned off. I can't believe it. I mean, you can barely see this house from the outside. Completely covered in ivy. Let's take a walk through to the other rooms now. Wow, look at this. I didn't even see this when I walked in. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, let's take a look in the other rooms. Okay, so the next room I think is the main lounge. And look at the stuff in here. This is absolutely incredible. And look at these old coins. These ones are like brand new. So many different sets. Oh my God. You can see the decay in here as well, the water damage on the side. Got the main fireplace with the remains of the last fire. I wonder how long that's been there for. God, look at this, look at the dust on the table. And the ivy, the ivy is coming through the windows. You cannot see out of them. I mean, this house is completely invisible from the outside. 
you wouldn't even know it's here. Just look at that, that window's actually been left open. I'm surprised it hasn't come in more than what it has. Look at all this in here. This is just incredible, this is amazing. This is one of those places that just blows me away, it just makes me think, why has it been left like this? Look at this picture here. It's incredible, absolutely incredible. And I've just noticed the decay on the walls and the ceiling as well. Wow. Okay, let's go and check out the next room and see what we can find in there. And we've got another room here, again, completely full. Look at this. It is absolutely incredible, it really is. And we've got some more photographs here, look. I don't like looking through photographs, it just makes me feel sad. And the old hi-fi system there, Philips one. CD and tape deck. We've got a photo there on the fireplace look, of a, a wedding couple. Oh, this is so sad. There's loads of photos on the table here, but I'm going to pan over those. And just look at this. Completely taken over by Ivy again. You can barely see outside. Wow, look at that. Oh, this is just, this just blows me away. It really does blow me away. Look at all the old vinyl. God, there's loads. There's actually loads. In fact, look at this, there's a whole chest full of them. Completely full. Wow. Okay, oh guys, look, before I leave this room, look at that. How cool is that? I don't know what that's made of, if it's wood or ivory or, or what, but it looks really, really cool. Okay, let's go and take a look upstairs now and see what we can find up there. God, look at this spider web hanging from the ceiling. Look at the size of it. It's literally hanging from the lampshade up there. That's got to be over 10 foot long. That is absolutely crazy. Look at this. My God, the stuff in here is unbelievable. I just cannot believe the amount of things that have been left behind. Look at this whole bed. How old do you reckon that is? Again, look at the decay in this building. Every inch of that ceiling is covered in mold. In fact, there is black mold everywhere. I may have to be a bit careful in some of these rooms. I don't know how bad they're gonna be. So I think we've got the main bathroom here. And look at this, the floor mat towels are still on the side. The toothpaste, even the nail scrub and the soap on the basin is still there. Unbelievable. I don't think this bath's been used in, well, a very, very long time. There's no water supply on anymore. Probably a good thing. Again, look at the black mold on this picture. And again, on the ceilings and the walls. Every ceiling on this upper floor so far is covered in mold. And even the door look. My goodness me, this must have a serious leak somewhere, this place. Look at this bedroom here, look at that. All the spools on the ceiling. <sighs> in fact, it does smell really damp in here. And look at all the clothes on the end of the bed, completely covered in mold. Wardrobe's completely full up. I just can't believe it. I've got some more photographs here. Oh, this looks interesting. I think that's a safe. Is that a safe? Yeah, it is. Look at this. Wow. I wonder if there's anything inside it. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. I can't believe how bad this is. Oh, that lampshade's really nice. Looks like it's been made of um, some sort of shell. Really cool. Now, I did notice that. That's the first thing I noticed when I walked in here, the old Scalectrix. <laughs> oh, look at that. God, it looks like it's all still there as well. Look at the water damage on this unit. It's just everything in here, even the shoes. Look at this. Oh, it's completely full, look. Oh, look at this. 1984. 
I keep on finding things with 1984 and it's really strange. I wonder if the top one will open. I don't think it will. No, it's um, where it's swollen so much, it won't actually open. So I can't show you guys what's in there, sadly. But never mind, we'll move on and see what else we can find. So we've got another bedroom here. Look at the mould on that door. Now that is pretty bad. I mean, this is very bad. Look at that, it's all over the floor. Look at that, there's a pair of shoes there still next to the bed. Now this one does actually look as if it's been cleared out, tidied out. Maybe it was a spare bedroom that didn't get used very often. You can see they've packed a few things away, look. Whether they were going to get cleaned or what, I don't know. The ivy finding its way through like it always does. <laughs> Look at this here. It's not going to be long before that takes over the whole room, I think. Wow, that's cool. That's really cool. Looks very old. These chairs are quite unusual. Okay, well, I think we've got a couple more rooms on this floor, and then we've got an upper floor, which I think is a converted loft space. But judging by the state of the ceilings, I don't know how far we're going to get in there. Well, this is a very small room. There's not much in here, just a spare bed and some uh, paintings on the wall. But the next room looks very interesting. Look at the size of that. That must be worth an absolute fortune. All the clothes. What's that there? Oh, do you know what? I think I know what this is, actually. I think it's a rocking horse and it is. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's got real horse hair as well. Oh, this must be worth a fortune. It's so beautiful. I'm glad it hasn't been vandalised as well because um, stuff like, what the hell was that? That was weird. <laughs> Yeah, it's so nice to see that this place hasn't been vandalised. Now, I, I don't know what's going to happen to this place. You know, it's it, it, it belongs to somebody somewhere, whether it be in a distant relative, maybe even a bank. You know, sometimes these places get repossessed. Um, it goes to someone somewhere. But um, I just hope it stays the way it is, you know, and, until the rightful person comes here and does what they need to do. It's how all these places should stay. Right, I've covered the horse back up as I found it. We've got some uh, makeup here on the side, look. Look at that, that comb has still got hair on it. Oh, that is really creepy. Lots of clothes down there. Okay, well, we've got one more place to look, so I'm... Um, I'm going to take a walk upstairs now and see what we can find up here. Now, I don't know how far I'm going to go up here because, like I said earlier, it doesn't look very safe. Oh, my God. You can see how much that's bowed, look. If I get back down to this level... Yeah, that doesn't look good. I'm definitely not going to be walking out onto that. Oh, this is really creepy. It's really warm up here, which is quite nice. I don't know how far I trust these floorboards. I've got the old water tank there. I think the water is actually coming through these slate tiles. You can see it's ruined all of the plaster or whatever that was. Just washed it all on the floor and I think that's what's causing the damage. Oh, look at this. The animals are farving wood. <laughs> My sister used to collect them when she was younger. Oh, this looks like it could have been a bit of a, a storeroom. Oh, that's cool. There's a picture of Marilyn Monroe there. I like that. Okay, well, this is the very last room to look in, guys. Lots of tools. It must have been a handyman of some sort. That looks like a plumber's toolbox to me. And I know that because I used to be a plumber. <laughs> You've got your PTFE tape. Got some... Uh, Clamps, all the diaphragm washers, pipe slice, 100% a plumber's toolkit, that. God, look at this, guys. You can see right down to the floor below there. If I just turn that light off a second, I don't know if it's going to make much difference, but you can see right down now. 
there is absolutely no way I'm going over to see what's in that chest. But I mean, everything we've seen so far has just blown me away. So uh, one thing I will do though is have a look at that newspaper. If I can just grab it, oh, just see if we can find a date. Yeah, look at that, July 28th, 2000. Crazy. Oh, sounded like there's actually something in that then. <laughs> wow. Okay guys, well, we have pretty much seen everything there is to see in this house now. So I'm gonna run around, do some pictures, do an Instagram story and a TikTok video. And I'll see you back outside very shortly. Right guys, I've just got back to the car. That place was absolutely incredible. I cannot believe the stuff that was left in there. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please like and subscribe. Please go and check out the Instagram, which is the Beard Explorer underscore. Also go and check out the Facebook page. I'll always put all the pictures on Facebook, 10 of Instagram. Don't forget to check out TikTok and I'll see you on next week's video.